So I recently bought this Game Boy in Japan and that it sent to Europe. It was labeled as junk, but it's really good looking. Feels good, looks good. It doesn't have any corroded battery connectors. So that's a win. Let's put in some batteries. That's not what I expected. Let's get a Game Boy game. Here we have a copy of Kirby. Well, it didn't read the game and now the whole screen is turned off. This looks better. But then again, no game. Old blow trick. Let's blow. Into the Game Boy also with some spit. Okay, Game Boy logo. Ah, it works. See if the controls are working. Right, left, up, down. Also working. Jump. Okay. I don't understand. The Game Boy works perfect. So this is not the repair I thought it would be. But anyway, we are going to clean it because it's a bit, bit dirty. And because it's a transparent case, you can see anything on it. So I'm happy because I got a really nice Game Boy Color. But I'm also disappointed because I wanted to repair a Game Boy. Let's dismantle a Game Boy. Here we go. Um, you need a special Nintendo Tri-Wing screwdriver. But you can see it at screws. But it's not a normal Phillips. So keep that in mind. And I'm going to skip this part. So I'm not going to talk. First, let's check the case. Okay, it's dirty. Yeah. Well, a few years ago, I also cleaned a lot of Game Boys and repaired them. And those were a lot more dirty than this one is. The battery contacts are like new. Wow. It's really nice. Well, the next three screws are Phillips screwdrivers. Or Phillips screws, they are not screwdrivers, but you get the point. Clip the ribbon cable. Sometimes you do this side and then the other side closes again. But be really careful, otherwise I have a good excuse to buy an IPS kit. Okay, here we go. Oh wow, 
even de buttons are clean. This is unbelievable. Okay, a little bit of dust on the speaker, but wow. Oh wow, we found dirt, finally. Even these rubber tips are clean -ish. Okay, we need to find something here. And here I go. Sorry, kid. Okay. Let's take a look at the front side of the shell. Um, oh, hi there. Normally, I would take off the whole screen with the crutchy crutchy thing, but it's not that dirty, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to get some soapy water and carefully clean the edges without dismantling the whole thing. Okay. in the case. Just don't want to mess up with stickers. So I let the pads soak in the hot water. Oh man, this is going to be a great game boy. It's nice, it's neat, it's almost clean. So a little background story while I'm scrubbing the D-pad. It's three years ago when I get sucked into this retro gaming thing and I was starting to watch videos from the Retro Future uh, with Elliot Cole, if I pronounce it correctly, otherwise I'm sorry, Elliot. And also liked uh, watching my mates. So we're going to really gently clean the front of the case here we can do it a bit more rough but I'm gonna get some cotton to clean around the screen really dirty. to get a cotton bud and normally if you do this the cotton bud will get really black come on 
um, we need to have a little bit of dirt. Otherwise, I didn't have to do it. Wow, that's all. So, the case is clean, motherboard is clean, buttons are clean, everything is dried. So, let's put it back together. So, I think it's done. Let's check if it works. We take our version of Kirby. I love how the Kirby is sitting here. Okay, here we go. Perfectly. This is it. One nice Game Boy for my collection. If you like these kind of videos or want to support my channel, please consider subscribing. And also thank you for giving me the opportunity to show you guys some of my hobbies. See you next time.